Here is everything you may have missed in the Summer Update 2023 Part 1. Oh, and uh, don't mind that. To start off with, these new fences have been implemented in a lot of new areas, such as the prison, sheriff's office, and the gas depot. However, strangely enough, not all of the areas have been updated with this new fencing. As you can see, areas such as the power plant still have the old fences. Why is this? I have no clue. But maybe this is related to part 2 of the summer update, and there will be an update to the entire power plant. But that is for time to tell. Next up, you know our friend Bigfoot? Well, he's here permanently. Before, you would walk up to Bigfoot and it would disappear. However, now it's permanently in the map. Walk up, say hi, even grab a quick selfie. But oh wait, is that a face I see under the mask? Yes, it is. Looks like someone's a bit late for their Halloween dress. Regardless, get a nice photo with Bigfoot when you find them around the map. Following this, a new fence has been added to the farms, surrounding a lot of the areas that were previously closed off with pretty much just a concrete barrier, with now a much more detailed and realistic looking fence, with a double height fence surrounding the main farm. Accompanying this is actually a small map update. A new dirt road has been added linking the sheriff's office parking lot with the farm area, with a new sign being implemented, authorized vehicles only suggesting that this lane down here is only for sheriff's access to the farms. Regardless, it's a nice change and it's now easier to get around the place with your tractor. A new sign can be found on many intersections on the highway. Oncoming traffic does not stop. A good reminder that you're about to turn onto a road with cars driving down at 70 miles an hour. Arrows have been added around tight hairpin sections of High Rock Park dirt roads to help visitors stay on the right track and not get lost during night times. And yes, I did bring my brand new Ford Mustang up here. The metal lights found all over the map have had a significant update, with a new restructure and design making them a lot more detailed than they were before. It is actually super simple to climb up to the top of these electricity pylons, however unfortunately we may be a bit too heavy for these lines since we fall right through. For the first time since these were added 3 years ago, finally the power plant sewers have clear blue water coming out from them. Before it was a greyish brown murky liquid, we had no clue what it was but it wasn't doing any good for the environment. The new jeep they snuck into this update and many people did not realise is very slow at accelerating, unsurprisingly. However, once it gets going, it's got quite some pace to it. Now the vehicle, as far as I can tell, maxes out at above 190 miles an hour. And the reason I can't give you a specific speed is actually because we run out of road before we reach it. The vehicle is so slow at accelerating, it only reaches around 190 miles an hour at the end of the highway. There is no longer road in the game, so unfortunately we cannot test the true speed of this vehicle. However, it could possibly be over 200, which would be absolutely insane. Up next, there are a bunch of new food items in Rick and John's as well as a new bakery, including a chicken sandwich, pizza slices, cookies, and brownies. And hopefully one day they'll add the rest of these food items available for us to eat. Now onto some commands. You can now change the time and set it to a specific hour using the command time and then the number using the 24 hour cycle. Additionally, if we head into server info, edit server settings, and we head to the bottom of the premium server pack, there's now team group locks. A lot of roleplay groups have been asking for this for a while and you can now lock certain departments to a specific Roblox group. Or if you'd like no one on that department at all, spam a bunch of numbers and no one will be able to get in. Really handy tool for a lot of public roleplay servers where you can now manage exactly who joins a department. Thank you for watching today's short video and I cannot wait to share with you tomorrow's roleplay. So here's a teaser for you all.